Hey guys, so I'm really excited. I partnered with Bed Bath & Beyond. So I picked up a few new things for the house, the place that we're currently renting, and then our new home, fingers are crossed, that we get the place we want. But when we move, the first thing that I'm obsessed with that I picked up is this chair. If you guys watch my Vlogmas videos, then you already saw the dining room chairs that I purchased. So this chair is very similar. It has that same detailed, distressed, light-colored wood, the lighter linen fabric. So I thought this chair was a beautiful accent chair. I love this chair. And I also picked up this blanket, which is so snuggly buggly. It's so soft. It has this white inside and then this more of like a beige cream outside to it with this pattern on it. Both sides are so soft and it's so warm, especially now because it's snowing. I cannot get warm enough or have enough blankets. So right now I have it just all set up in my little corner here. And then over here, I thought this thing was so cool. I had never seen one before. So this is the Mr. Coffee. It is a, well, it warms up. So you turn it on. So this little button right there turns it off and on. And especially when it's cold out, it's really handy to have so your coffee or tea or whatever you're drinking stays warm. Also, if you're like me and you're working and you are absent-minded and you forget about it, it's not going to get cold on you and you don't have to go microwave it or reheat it or whatever. So I absolutely love that. I'm obsessed with it. And for me, I find it extremely helpful. I also picked up a set of flameless candles. So all you do is use this little handy dandy remote and you have instant ambiance. Look at that mood lighting. And it's easy as turning off and on. But to me, they look real. They have like that flickering effect. So that's just definitely like a safe alternative to candles if you're like me a candle freak but always worried that you left one on or whatever just like a safety precaution personally that's why I'm a big fan of the flameless candles and I put them in little clear glass jars that I made which I will link the video to that in the description box as well as a bunch of other home related videos if you guys have questions about anything else that I'm showing you today so I have these two here and then the set came with four others so six total, so I have those throughout the house. And behind it, I'm gonna bring it out because it's kinda hidden. I picked up this lamp. The fabric and the wood both match the chair that I first showed you guys. And it goes with the whole like farmhouse style that you guys know I'm literally obsessed with. But it has like this brushed detail, distressed detail of the white and light brown. Then I also picked up a new set of towels and hand towels or washcloths. So I picked up a set of six of each. These are just a couple, obviously, that I grabbed to show you guys. But these are the white dry soft towels. I picked up the large towels, the bigger ones, because Will is so tall. Like the smaller towel or like the normal bath size towel is way too small for him. <laughs> Big man in a little coat. <laughs> so for his sake, I picked up the larger ones, but they're very soft. They're very absorbent. So I really like these, but we definitely needed a new set for whenever we move because our towels are literally destroyed. They're just a disaster. And they're like hand-me-down, like a mixed match of towels that I had from college and towels that he had previously. So I feel adulting when things match and flow, <laughs> you know? Serious question though, like what is normal, like the normal amount for someone to have for towels and washcloths? Like right now it's just Will and I, and obviously any guests that stay over, but like is six enough? <laughs> six too many? I'm not really sure. I guess it depends how often you do laundry, but random thought. Let me know what you guys think is normal. I've also honestly started packing things that I know I'm not going to need or use the next like four to six months. So my challenge is for myself to use up anything that's already open in the meantime, or if I don't like it, get rid of it, whatever. Just cleaning out house, basically, literally and figuratively. But yeah, I have like a bunch of boxes already starting to fill up and put away in storage while we figure out this whole move situation. Other storage and organization things that I picked up, I picked this up, which is meant for Christmas lights. So we didn't put any up this year outside of our condo, but we're both like huge Christmas, holiday decorating weirdos and we'll definitely decorate next year so I picked this up for whenever we do and I thought this was really cool and an easy way to keep your Christmas lights from getting tangled but you put these little plastic pieces together and it creates like a wheel that you wind up the lights on so it keeps everything 
neat and orderly. You can stack a bunch. I think there's three in here. So whether it's for your house or your Christmas tree or whatever, that's a really easy, simple way to keep everything organized and all together. And it just zips up like so. Then I picked up these, uh, I think they're called sweater bags. All the links for everything will be in the description box. So if you guys want to get more information or shop them, you can check that out. But this comes in a set of two. So they are labeled for sweaters, but I'm kind of debating if I want to use them for linens, like extra bedding or possibly our winter accessories. So like hats, gloves, scarves, all of that for storage. I think these are super handy because when you put them in storage, you can see right through them. You know exactly what's in them. I already own a bunch of other ones that you guys saw. I keep my holiday bedding and home decor like pillows and blankets in. I also already use these for other bedding and sweaters. They just come super handy in my opinion. So you can never have too many of these for storage. See my coffee staying nice and warm while I'm filming this video. So handy. Then the last thing I picked up from Bed Bath & Beyond are these Euro pillows. And I put these shams on them. But I really love Euro pillows. I think they go great on any size bed to basically be extra. They look fancier. They really pull the bed together. They give dimension and layers to all the pillows if you put a gajillion pillows on your bed like I do. Making it super comfy. But you can change out the Euro pillow that's inside by putting different shams on it to go with your sheets or theme of the room. Yay, pillows! <laughs> Today's mission is going to be cleaning up this closet. This closet has become a huge disaster. It's kind of a mix of things, but mainly it's my holiday decor and gift wrapping that is just everywhere. <laughs> so I'm going to get a handle on this and organize it using a bunch of storage and organization containers from Bed Bath & Beyond. First is the gift wrapping bag. So this container is super helpful for not only Christmas wrapping, but any wrapping for any holiday or birthday. This guy holds a lot. I'm going to first fill the bottom with all my wrapping paper. Also has two pockets on the top, perfect for gift bags, gift boxes, and tissue paper. In the corner, it has this little slot for ribbon, so I'm going to stack up my ribbons there. But it's also really cool because the little flap on the outside pulls down, and it has little holes so you can pull the ribbon through to keep it all organized. I also used a smaller shoebox to put all my bows in so they didn't get squished. Previously, I was using about four plastic drawers filled, plus the paper that was just standing up throughout the closet. I was seriously amazed how much this fit. All of that was able to fit in this one container. So now it's all together organized in one place and it takes up so much less space in that closet. I also picked up this large comforter bag. This is meant for a comforter, obviously, but I like to use these for decorative pillows and blankets for the season. So I'm going to put all of my Christmas pillows and blankets inside this. I really love these bags because they are clear so you can see exactly what's inside of them wherever you store them. Then reorganizing the plastic bins, I was able to piece together the closet in a much more organized fashion. So you can see here, everything has its own place, cleaned and organized, and I was also able to free up those extra bins. So I relabeled them and kept all the Christmas wrapping together as I showed you and then made these into birthday and miscellaneous gift wrapping drawers as well as extra workout equipment. So I typically keep my free weights, my resistance bands, yoga mat, etc., in here as well. So now I made more room to also fit all of that together. It's so satisfying when you can clean out and reorganize and everything fits together in its own space. Now I need to also put away my holiday china dinnerware, serveware. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that real quick. And Will, my boyfriend, is going to help me. So we like to take styrofoam plates and bowls and place these in between the glass. This gives a little bit of protection in between each one. That way they don't break. So we're going to stack these. Then using a clear bin, I'm going to place all of the Christmas dinnerware, serveware, and linens. Also used the chargers, placemats, napkins, and stockings to give extra padding in between while they sit in storage. So that is everything that I recently picked up from Bed Bath & Beyond and how I've been storing and organizing some of my holiday decorations. I would love to know what you guys want to see next, so be sure to comment that below. 
Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.